Good afternoon. Cheers and welcome to Beer O'Clock. A new little weekly, hopefully, series that I'll probably explain at the end of the video. For now, all you need to know this fine afternoon is that I'll be sipping on a Bolter XBA, which is a great Aussie craft beer, and chatting with you about if a Zoids live action movie or TV series would actually be a good thing. Now let's start with the obvious question, would there ever actually be a Zoids movie or TV series in live action? And I'm sorry to break your optimistic heart, but I'm going to go with no. Essentially, for a Zoids movie to happen, there would need to be a lot of funding because it would not be an easy thing to produce. We all know how complex the Zoids designs are. It's not easy to animate without CGI as it is, let alone pushing that into a realistic format. The budget would be insane and there would need to be a real audience for it. And I'm sorry to say, we all kind of know this by now, Zoids is a really, really niche franchise. So the audience just isn't there at the moment. Zoids Wild Zero is doing pretty well in Japan. It's already completed, but the toy line is selling really well and it got pretty good ratings and views over there. But obviously that hasn't really translated well to the international audience. And for a live action movie to actually take place, you would probably need a pretty decent international audience. So with the fact that it's probably never gonna happen out of the way, at the very least we can have fun and hypothesize what it could be, you know? think about how it could be done, what would be right, what would be wrong, and how we could actually come up with a successful TV franchise or movie. For Zoids live action to actually work, it would have to be a really down-to-earth story, at least in my eyes. And it would also have to be really easy to digest, so people that have never even heard of or seen Zoids before would get the picture. You'd be best off probably going for like a militaristic story, Something similar to maybe Gundam War in the Pocket. I'd also say you'd probably have to separate it from any existing Zoids media in order to not have a gap between what people know. But I see no reason why you couldn't get Froggy and kind of introduce the Zoids existing media into a live action franchise through like cameos and things like that to get people really excited. And by people, I mean the very few people that actually know what Zoids is and have watched the anime and would care about cameos. The only way I would actually introduce a cameo would be in a way similar to how The Mandalorian did it, where at the very end you see Luke Skywalker show up and save the day and he's only there for a little bit. But in that little bit, you see his overwhelming power and how much of an impact he can make on the galaxy and the small tight-knit group we've seen progress throughout the series. And the way that could translate to a Zoids live action series would, like I said, be a very small, compact series in a military setting relating to whether it be a couple of soldiers or people experiencing war and then at the very end just key in something like Van of the Blade Liger for a little bit. And the reason I would only want it to be a short amount is because A, not a lot of people would know what this cameo even is obviously and B, it would probably cost a heck of a lot of money to have a big action scene with Zoids like the Blade Liger. That's why something more down to earth and grounded, like a Gundam War in the Pocket type story, would be easier to make and digest the live action because you would probably need a little bit less budget if you have less mecha fights. But obviously, we all want the mecha fights. So at the end of the day, what would a Zoids TV series or movie actually entail? Well, not enough mecha fights to satisfy all the existing Zoids fans, but just enough to get people excited. We would need more of a traditional war story to at least get a majority of people emotionally invested even without the mechs being involved, like a Code Geass for example even. And then once people are actually involved then we can interject the really badass moments. Obviously the Zoids are always going to be present in some form but they don't always have to be having really flashy extreme battles that cost thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars in budget. Because at that point you sacrifice everything else that goes into a show, whether it be the writing or the casting or the set pieces or literally anything else. That's why I don't think a story like New Century, for example, would translate well into a TV series or movie. Mainly just because it would cost a lot of money to produce and there is just not the demand for it. While yes, it would be really cool and probably reach the widest audience because it's just so generic and fun, it just wouldn't be feasible for a TV series or movie in live action. Now with all this hypothesizing out of the way, what do I think? Do I think it would be cool? Do I think it's a good idea? Honestly, 
I'm going to say no. I don't think a live action movie or Zoids TV series would be something that I'd personally enjoy. And I don't think it'd be something a lot of people would enjoy even as much as they think they would. Now, I'm not going to tell you what you would and wouldn't like, you know, but at the end of the day, I don't think it would be everything you're expecting. Kind of like how the Cowboy Bebop live action was not everything anyone was expecting and ended up in a horrible disaster. But that was for a number of different reasons, like not staying with the source material and so on and so forth. But if in some alternate universe where Zoid stayed extremely accessible and even maybe had a glimpse of the success Gundam has had over the years, which still isn't as wide enough of a popularity to have a live action, then maybe you could have a successful live action TV series or movie. But if Gundam hasn't even done it, I can't see Zoids doing it anytime soon. This whole conversation for a live action Zoid sparked with this image that came out years ago from a mobile game that was only released in Japan as far as I'm aware. I'm pretty sure way back when I actually downloaded it illegally, technically legally from the Japan app store and it really wasn't that great. But hey, the marketing material was so cool and really got people thinking. And I've seen a bunch of posts on the subreddit lately, so I figured why not talk about it? And I guess that's really where my rambling comes to an end. This wasn't really supposed to be a long video. I just wanted to kind of share my thoughts on what a live action Zoid series could look like. And this brings me to what the hell beer o'clock even is. Essentially, all I want it to be is every Friday, I want to upload a video of just me talking about anything. It doesn't have to be Zoids related, it could be anything. I'm thinking about talking about things like The Mandalorian, Book of Boba Fett, Arcane, Halo, so many other things that I really enjoy that I want to talk about that I couldn't bring to a proper video because I don't really feel it fits the channel and some things I just feel like I can't talk about for very long. As well as the fact I also wanted to bring some sort of consistency to this channel because obviously people will show up, they'll see a video posted a month ago and Maybe you think I don't post anymore, but if I post something weekly, even if it's just random chatting, at least it makes it clear that I'm still here and I'm still talking and I'm still having fun doing what I do on YouTube. Basically, this is meant to be short, free room discussion about whatever is on my mind the week because I love talking and I'm more than happy to talk to you guys in front of a camera, so why the hell not turn it into content, right? And hey, if there's anything you want me to talk about, feel free to let me know in the comments below. I'm more than happy to take suggestions or even questions. It doesn't bother me. I'll do literally whatever. This is just supposed to be me talking, really easy to work with, really easy to edit so I can do it every week and at least just shows I'm still here. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you all enjoy this new little thing I'm trying out. Feel free to let me know what you think in the comments below. Drink responsibly as always and only if you are above the legal age in your country and have a great night. See you.